Hey guys, it's Kui Goldlink. Uh, this is the third time I've recorded this video because I didn't realize that the first two were recording a blank screen and I didn't know what was going on, so I had to restart my recording. Anyways, guys, I'm doing a quick follow up on the last uh, collection scam that I did. Still got about three days left on it. It's about $1,400 right now. And uh, this seller, the TCG Direct guy, just wanted to show you really quick. Uh, last time I checked, I believe he had 15 feedback that was all as a buyer. And as a seller, he's got only two feedback from the same buyer. And this comment is this, this thank you for this card. It's perfect mint condition. I'm grading it. Nobody on eBay leaves a comment like this and it's all caps. So this right here, it, it's just scammy. This guy, he made a fake create. He made a fake account, went and bought his own cards, and then he left this feedback. The, so, anyways, uh, moving on from him, we're gonna actually. I'm actually making this video because of this collection today. It is going for a hundred thousand dollars. You know, the cheap, cheap price of a hundred thousand dollars. If you guys have that, let me know, because. I don't have that kind of money just sitting around. So just really quick, I don't deal in foreign cards, so I can't tell you for sure if these foreign cards are real or not. They might be, and if they are, maybe they hold some value. But I can tell you that that middle blue eyes right there has damage. There's, it looks like there's a huge crease on it, so even if it did have value, that would decrease it a lot. This first card, the Serpent Knight Dragon, that is fake. This, whatever this row human worm or whatever that's fake this blue eyes might be real it's just unlimited starter deck uh, this blue eyes I'm pretty sure it's common that's probably real these last two cards are definitely fake uh, there's yeah that's blue eyes from LOB it's first edition and this one is from starter deck Kaiba also first edition those are both fake I guarantee you that um, any high-end card that you're gonna see on this collection is fake, guaranteed. There's there's zero percent chance that's a real card. Um, that Dark Magician from the tin that's probably real. These two Dark Magicians from I think it's Starter Deck. Those are definitely real because why would you fake that? They're like probably five bucks, and if they have damage, they're probably less. And then um, the foreign cards again, I don't know. But all those Dark Magicians are probably real. I would say those are probably real. That card, I'd say, yeah, it's fake. This one, I don't know. It, it's just, it's hard to tell because these pictures are blurry. That one might be real. That one's probably real because I think it's just a common. Uh, that one's fake. That's just a common. I think that's real. That's fake. Black Skull Dragon. That's that humanoid slime or whatever worm. That's fake, that's fake, that's fake. And I've actually seen these two fakes in real life before. That Skull Knight and that Roaring Sea Snake or whatever. I've seen those fakes in real life, so I know those are fake. This Help Omer, that one actually looks real. But even a first ed Help Omer, even if it is real, it's not a high-end card. So, like, why would you fake that card anyway? That's hard to tell. I can't tell that might be real. That Black Skull Dragon might actually be real, it's hard to tell, because it's unlimited, it's probably real. That Flare Knight, it's hard to tell from that picture, it's just, it's way too dark. The Metal Zoa, that's probably real. Buster Blader, Feather Duster, those are probably real. So yeah, mm -hmm. so those are real. So that means this one might be real, still can't tell on that. The Metal Zoa is probably real, Buster Blader and Feather Duster, those definitely look real from the pictures. Again, not seeing them in in real life is hard to tell. That guy is uh, common, that's probably real. That's where the real cards stop for this page as far as the English ones. This Tyrant Dragon is definitely fake. You can tell from the hollow on that and like the name. It just shouldn't, it just doesn't look right. This Exodia, the Dark Master, there is no Exodia, the Dark Master in Yu-Gi-Oh! And even Exodia doesn't have any art that looks like that. So that's, that is the, the most fake card in this collection. That's fake. Five God Dragon, there is, it should be Five Headed Dragon, that's fake. 
so I'm just gonna tell you the rest of these are all they all gotta be fake yeah dark flare knight there's only a super rare of that card and the god card I'm just gonna say it's fake because it's got a first edition stamp on it <laughs> um, that dragon master knight that's fake that dragons that wing dragons probably fake so that means that yep that's fake that's fake that's fake that's fake well let's see yeah those are all fake uh, this page I would say maybe these two are real and then that's you see you can tell on this one it's hard to tell but it looks like the first edition goes over the border of the picture in the text box so that's a dead giveaway uh, that's fake that's fake that might be real again it's just hard to tell from this picture oh and that's the last picture okay so yeah probably these two are real the Yamada dragon and that fusionist those are probably real but I would say the rest of those are fake I'd even say that might be fake but anyways guys I'm doing this video and I'm doing these uh, I'm doing these scam videos to get awareness out there so if you ever come across a Yu-Gi-Oh collection on eBay or in real life or anywhere do your due diligence. Send me a message. I always reply to all the messages, all the comments in my YouTube videos. And I will tell you, if you send me an eBay listing, I will go look at it and I will tell you, hey man, these cards are fake. Or hey man, these cards are real. And I've bought <laughs> I've bought collections before, you know, that are like four or five hundred cards and there's one or two fakes in them. That's normal. This year is the first time I've seen collections like this and where the entire collection like literally the first two pages are the only real cards the rest of this entire binder is fake and this is the first time i've seen where the majority of a collection is fake and only a few cards are real it's it's sad to see this stuff happening but the reality is this year games like pokemon that have just exploded have caused other games like Yu-Gi-Oh to somewhat explode as well not to the not to the same extreme but we've seen a lot of cards go up this year that a year or two ago were nowhere near what they're valued now so anyways guys uh, leave a comment on this video let me know what you think if you ever find any collections that you're like wondering hey are these cards fake are they real send me a link I'll go look at the collection and I will let you know